Hello everybody, Terry Games here, and welcome to a brand new playthrough series on the PlayStation 4. The game that I have chosen to start things off for 2021 for this channel, for the PS4, is Ratchet and Clank. Yes, it's been a hard pick of what to choose and I've decided to go with Ratchet and Clank to start things off. So I hope you guys enjoy the series that I have cooking for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon on my channel so you don't miss anything regarding Terry Games and don't forget to leave any comments down in the comment section below for any games that you would like to see me do in the future with games like this on the PlayStation 4 on Ratchet and Clank for example. This game or this series is going to be a no commentary playthrough series so you won't hear me jibber jabber you'll just see the gameplay throughout part each on each part. So with that said guys I hope you've enjoyed well I hope you will enjoy the series that I've chosen to start things off and without further ado I guess let's get started and let's play Ratchet and Clank. I hope you guys enjoy this series and I'll catch you guys when the series is over. Until then, I hope you guys have fun, grab your snacks, sit back and relax and enjoy the series of Ratchet and Clank. Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I, I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Think you're gone. Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. 
These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Does that ship look mag lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank. Come on. Come on, give it a spin. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Look down. You see something? Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Ratchet bashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time honored tradition of jumping. Enemy down! Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. Displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the humorous. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story? <laughs> Test your metal. Are you ready to be a galactic ranger? What about you, hombre? Ready to dispense some justice? I spy another contestant. Come on, future ranger. Hello, recruits. Cora Verilux 
Rose here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. Good work. Now keep moving to the next part of the course. If you see me at the event, please do not run up and insist on shaking hands. My mighty vice like grip. Good job. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hey there, recruit. I'm Brax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these cr- Hey, that was pretty good. Keep moving, it's time to get our hands on some firepower. Go ahead and grab a fusion grenade glove from this Gadgetron vendor. You got a deal. Awesome. Next step. The galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. things up. We've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool with this. Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. Time for the final challenge. Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or maybe. Hey! Another one down. Whoa, looks like some angry toes. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Wasn't so bad. The helpless defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. <laughs> I know you will find the defect, Victor. You never disappoint. The feeble defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him, and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? But where are you? You 
you are. Oh my. Quit your running, you useless piece of scrap. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot to Warbot. Defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Fincher? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got him right where I want him. You can run from me? Not that brute again. Get back here, you miserable defect! Thoughts race through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. <laughs> Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Fortunately for our furry hero, a conveniently placed crate provided Ratchet with a combustor. Nice! A combustor! Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch which weapons whenever he felt like it. Perhaps you could shoot something to open the door. My sensors indicate there is a switch across the way that can be activated with a combustor shot. Impressive shooting. Nice work. Quark, 
What are they doing here? I have information in my data banks that poses a threat to Chairman Dreck. He must have tracked my position to your planet, so he could get it back. Ratchet had to think fast. Perhaps the hookshot would solve his current conundrum. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. Ratchet is in a bad way. Hurt, confused, and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. That's all of them. Grim's garage. Grim, are you okay? I'm fine, kid, but I ain't opening up until the coast is clear. Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. Garage. Grim, are you okay? I'm fine, kid, but I ain't opening up until the coast is clear. Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. Open up! Ratchet, what is Zoni's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. What kind of factory is this? This? No, oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up.
Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us.